joining us. The DSU women uh, came away with a 60 to 44 victory over Waldorf tonight. And of course, we'll have uh, our coffee with the coaches. Uh, little secret interview <laughs> over halftime that you can listen to tomorrow with Eric Nelson at halftime, but we'll have him on at halftime, and of course some other things going on and the uh, side of things. That busy night tonight, my goodness, all kinds of stuff going on, and again, we'll uh, get finals to you as they come to us, but again, the Dickinson Trinity boys, an easy win tonight over Standing Rock. The girls playing Watford City right now. Ninja boys and girls in action also tonight in Mandan, and of course Dickinson State in action here. The Deccan's High Grapplers and Girl Grapplers at the WDA in Minot. And again, good luck, guys, tonight. Our officials, Brent Weber out of Bismarck, Blake Egley and Perry Olsen are both out of Minot, North Dakota. And let's see, let's look at our Justin Glass starting lineups here before we hit Nassau. We don't have the band here. I don't know what happened to the band. We had them here for the first game, I think, but I, don't, I haven't seen them around in between games here. Let's look at the uh, Waldorf Warriors again at 4-4, four 9-13. And four, and They'll start with Kaylin uh, Harkema at a guard position. He is a junior. Also, Kyle Washington, a point guard. He is a senior. And uh, Kylie Washington, usually those two guys start, but just Washington uh, will get to start tonight. He is a senior. So, Harkema, Washington, and also at a guard position, Noah Miller, a junior, out of uh, Forest City, Iowa. The up, pe up front people uh, will be Gabe Sorensen at 6'5", and Hugo Edgefor, a 6'8 junior for head coach Nigel Jenkins in his 13th season. Dickinson State will go with Kose Egwe, Trey Stevens tonight. Also in the uh, starting lineup tonight for uh, Dickinson State will be D.C. Stewart. Also in that starting lineup, Josiah Holland. And also in the starting lineup, Jake Daniel tonight. So Jaden Wright not starting tonight. John Evans is suited up. We'll see if he plays. Josiah Holland also playing tonight, but not in a starting role. And neither is Cordell Stinson, but... All of those guys suited up, and we'll see plenty of action from them tonight. So there you go. That's a look at your Justin Glass starting lineup here on Katie Ike's Dickinson. I'm not sure if we're going to have a national anthem or not. Maybe I'll ask Coach Kemp. Going to have a national? We're going to have a national anthem or not tonight? Do you know? Okay. I guess not. Let's take our break from Justin Glass and Coca-Cola. We'll be back to go to work right after this. Rivera's more than a bank. We're a group of people in the business of helping communities forge on. At the counter, we offer convenience so the day can forge on. In the thick of the hall, we protect your peace of mind so the season can forge on. And around the table, we make room for everyone so life can forge on. We're more than a bank. We're your path ahead. Rivera, forge your path. Computer viruses are bad, and I'm as bad as they come. <laughs> I love breaking stuff. Once I'm inside your system, that's when the real damage begins. And there's almost nothing you can do to stop me. Oh no, consolidated. Make sure you're protected with a cybersecurity solution from Consolidated. Don't wait until it's too late. Call Consolidated today. The dictionary defines community as a group of people living in the same place or sharing common goals. Community is the largest part of our name and we make it the largest part of our business. We support our local schools, organizations, youth programs, and local events from Bowman to Bismarck because we all share a common goal to better the quality of life in our communities. Come bank with us at Dakota Community Bank and Trust, your real community bank. Starting for Dickinson State, so it'll be D.C. Stewart, Josiah Howen, along with Kose Aguilé, Jake Daniel in that starting lineup, and D.C. Stewart also in the starting lineup tonight for Dickinson State University. Coach by Eric Selvick in his fourth season. Nice crowd on hand as was for the girls game, 732, so we're just about on time, a little bit behind time, but pretty close to start time. Remember tomorrow, 3 and 5 o'clock. Don't forget we close out a busy sports weekend on Kid Guys. Of course, area coaches comment with the boys area coaches tomorrow, and then I'll be in with coffee with the coaches. We'll talk all basketball tomorrow. Dickinson High, Dickinson Trinity, Dickinson State. 
Next week, we're going to get into some grappling also with Dickens and I ready to go to the state tournament on the boys and girls side. And, of course, Dickens and State getting ready for their regional uh, conference tournament. And uh, but this weekend will be all basketball. And uh, we'll get some done today and tonight, some done tomorrow. Warriors dressed in black and purple. Hawks dressed in white. Holland will jump it up against Edgefor. Again, Waldorf won a very close game and then kind of just got away. Dickinson State led almost all the game and then down the final 10 minutes, Waldorf made a big run and ended up winning it about two weeks ago, 89 to 79 in Forest City, Iowa. Again, the women won tonight by a final of 60 to 44 on the CHI, St. Alexis South scoreboard. A lot of problems with moisture. It's just that damp snow outside and people coming in in the end zones and Underneath the basket, they are getting a little bit of moisture. Pete Stanton uh, out there with the towel and Dale uh, Dolichek working hard on the uh, Zamboni, drying it up, and especially on the west end towards the Weinbergen concession stand area. It seems to be getting extremely wet, but we're just uh, having a little delay as they work on that tonight here at Scott Gymnasium. We're looking forward to uh, getting ready to get this one underway. Dickinson State again. Uh, led this season in scoring. Trey Stevens leading the Blue Hawks, and he is averaging right about 15 points per ball game for Trey. And uh, for Dickinson State, also uh, John Evans, who maybe will play, maybe won't, at about 12 and a half. Uh, Kose Egbeloy at 12, Stinson at 10 for Dickinson State. Washington, their leading score at 13, and. Grayson, who comes off the bench at 12 and a half. Tip controlled by the Warriors. And they'll attack offensively as they come down court. Washington with it. Leaves the left side for Miller. Washington gets it out to Edgefor. Hugo gets it back inside. Can't hang on to it. Turns it over. First possession for Waldorf. There's a turnover and the ball back to the Blue Hawks of Dickinson State University. And they'll bring it into play. Dickinson State. First possession. Trey Stevens comes across the timeline. Gets away from some pressure. Comes right side. Backs it off, corner to St D.C. Stewart. Stewart left side to Egbule. Egbule, a big game last week against Mayville State. Inside Holland with the hook shot that's going to be up and short. And the rebound comes quickly down to Noah Miller. Miller will get that pass off to Washington. Washington right back into the hands of Sorensen. Sorensen has it batted away. Egbule picks it up. Turnover number two against V. Warriors in the corner. D.C. Stewart from three. Hits it and buries it. D.C. Stewart is first shot and the Blue Hawks out to an early 3-0 lead. Baseline three-pointer. Miller comes down court. Picked up by Stevens. Left side leaves it for Sorensen. Sorensen dishes it off. Gets that pass quickly into the hands of Harkema. Harkema back to Washington. Washington back to Sorensen. Gabe Handles it on the dribble. Now they come inside. Ball loose on the floor. Again, going to be picked up. We'll have a jump ball. Arrow to Dickinson State. Three possessions, Waldorf. And they've turned it over three times. So the ball back to Dickinson State. Early 3-0 lead for the Blue Hawks. 90 seconds into this one. Again, Stevens steps across the timeline. Left-hand dribble comes top of the key. Works right side. Free throw line extended. Off to Daniel. Out to Egboulet. Egbule puts it on the floor, spins in the paint. He loses it. Turnover number one, Dickinson State. It's a turnover fest. Four turnovers between the two teams, just three points. Dickinson State has all three. Dribble drive this time inside. Little spin move. Egbule closely guarding. And a good effort defensively by Egbule against Washington, who's their star player. Great job. And Egbule comes down with the rebound. Jake Daniel to the basket. Gets cut off. He gets it tipped away. Gets it back. Goes to Holland. Holland out to Egbule. Egbule turns down the three. Stevens doesn't. Fires from three and hits from three. Trey Stevens gives the Blue Hawks an early 6 to nothing lead on the CHI. St. Alexius Health scoreboard. 17.42 left to go. Washington off to Edgefor. They bring the big guy outside. Now they flip it into Harkema. Harkema back top of the key to Miller. Miller to Sorensen. Sorensen trying the dribble drive. Can't get it to go. Goes back to Miller. Inside to edge of four. Edge of four on the drive. Has it tipped away. It's stolen. Turnover number four. Down court. Outlets to it. To Egboulet. Free throw line extended. Egboulet 
penetrates in the paint, drives, hooks it up. That's going to be short. And the rebound's going to be taken down and controlled by the Warriors of Waldorf University. Harkema across the timeline in the paint from eight, puts it up and in. Tough shot by Harkema, and he got it to go. And down court with the basketball. Comes Steven, 6-2 our score. Dickinson State in the lead. Stewart has a corner of the free throw line. Right side comes to the free throw line. Back to Aguilé. Free throw line extended beyond the three-point line. To Jake Daniel now to Steven. Steven steps back behind the three-point line. Puts it up. That's an air ball. And the rebound back to Gabe Sorensen. Sorensen to Miller. Miller pressured by Stevens. Gets it back in the corner to Washington. Washington back to Sorensen. Sorensen just hangs on to it. Comes back to Harkema. Harkema nearly lost it. He travels with it. Wow, Waldorf, five turnovers in three and a half minutes. Or two and a half. No, make it three and a half minutes. Jaden right into the ball game. Egboule will take a breather. So Kose Egboule checks out. And Jaden Wright checks in. Stewart out front to Jake Daniel. Right side, Stevens down low. They get it into Holland. Holland trying to back in as it poked away. Gets it back, spins inside, comes in the paint, turns from 12, air balls it up off the glass. Not good, and the rebound down to the Warriors. 16 minutes remaining to play in the first half. Again, a lead of four for Dickinson State. They get it off to Sorensen. Sorensen will hang on to it. Bounces it down court. Washington has this shot blocked away. Good defense by Holland. He came over to help and rejected the shot by Washington. And the ball will go back to the Warriors of Waldorf. They'll put it into play. Miller will do the honors into Washington. He's picked up by Jaden Rice. Comes back out front to Miller. Miller swings it left side. Here comes Harkema on the dribble drive. Can't get the shot away. Now inside to Washington. He'll flip it way back out to Harkema. There's the shot clock violation. Turnover number six, Waldorf. Wow. Blue Hawks really not taking advantage of the turnovers. They've had some opportunities off four of those turnovers. The score points, they have off two of them, but let's see what they do off the sixth turnover. It's their possession. 6-2 lead. Right with the basketball. Baseline, Stewart. Stewart back to wing. Back to Stevens. Now to right. Now to Jake Daniel. Down low. They get it off to Holland. Josiah backing in. Double team. Turns from 15. Puts it up off the glass. That won't go down. And the rebound comes down. It'll be controlled by Waldorf. Harkema with the basketball to Miller. Miller penetrating inside. Beautiful bounce pass. Egafor will go to, or Edgefor will go to the free throw line to shoot too. Nice look by Noah Miller. Edgefor coming in. Averaging 11 points per game. He'll be at the line to shoot two. That personal going against Dickinson Tate State's Trey Stevens, so he picks up his first. Free throw up and good. He'll get another. Stevens will check out. Aiden Fischel into the ball game. Fischel, remember, did not play last week in Mayville because of the stomach flu, but is back. Good to see Aiden back. He had an excellent ball game last week at Valley City. Second free throw by Edge of four is good. So you go edge of four makes it a two-point lead for Dickinson State, 6-4. Hawks hit those uh, two quick three-pointers and have gone a long time without scoring. Little man-to-man -man pressure. Fitchell with it. Hand back to right. Right backs it out. Top of the key. Fakes the three. They go down low to Holland. Holland looking inside. Spins. Double team. He's going to be grabbed. There's a whistle there, and they got him on the arm. And our personal will go against number 10. And that will be Harkema. So Harkema picks up his first personal. So Harkema, number one. Inbounds pass will come in. They go left side to Stewart. Stewart penetrates free throw line. Hand back to Jake Daniel. Daniel from 12 inside. Banks it up and in. Nice little spin move, touch move by Jake Daniel. The Dickinson Trinity Pratic ends the scoring drought for Dickinson State. Makes it an 8-4 ball game. Edge of four with the basketball out front. Comes left-hand side. Harkema with it. Against Daniel Drives. Lays it up off the glass and in. Made a beautiful move. And Harkema with four. Makes it an 8-6 ball game. Down court. 
Jaden Wright with it. Wright comes free throw line, loses control of it, gets it back, picks it up, gets it back inside, or outside rather, on the wing. The Fischel, Fischel spin move, nothing doing, back to Jake Daniel. Jake comes in the paint, no shot there, ball tipped away, out of bounds. Back to the Blue Hot. Into the ball game comes Kaylee Grayson, averages 12 and a half points off the bench. Sorensen will check out. 13.56 left to go in the first half. Dickinson State in the lead, 8 to 6 on the CHI St. Alexius Health scoreboard. Aiden Fitchell with it out front. Shot clock winding down. I think Fitchell realizes it. He'll pull up from three and hit it. Aiden Fitchell from three buries it. Third three pointer for Dickinson State. They're three of four from beyond the arc. 11 to 6, Blue Hawks by five. Braden Palmer getting ready to check in. Edge of four out front, nearly had the ball poked away. Now it's controlled by Grayson. Now they get it to Washington. He'll fire from three over Jaden Wright and put it up and in. Washington's first basket makes it an 11 to nine ball game. Jake Daniel to Stewart, Stewart to Fitchell. Fitchell, thought about the three, puts it on the floor, penetrates baseline, pulls up there, no shot doing. So he'll kick it way back out front to Jaden Wright. Jaden Wright comes down the lane, has his shot up, and he's hit hard as he goes up for the shot, and he'll shoot two. So Jaden Wright will go to the line. Jaden averaging six and a half on the season. That personal will go against Grayson. Justin Wiggins also getting ready to check in for Waldorf. Free throw up by Jaden Wright is good. Jaden, excellent free throw shooter. So Tyah Holland gets a breather. Braden Palmer will check in. So it'll be Daniel, Fischel, Wright, along with Stewart and Palmer. Second free throw good by Jaden Wright. 13 to 9. So a 13-9 lead for Dickinson State at the 13-minute mark. Out front with it. Noah Miller hangs on to it. Goes to Wiggins. Wiggins to edge of four. Edge of four in the paint. No shot there. Back to Wiggins. Wiggins had a big week, night three weeks ago. He puts it up off the glass. Not good. Edge of four with the rebound. Puts it up. That is good. Edge of four off the miss by Wiggins. Good defense by Jake Daniel on Wiggins, but that allowed edge of four to come off his defensive player. Palmer just grab it and yanked it and put it up and in. Behind the back dribble nearly lost by uh, official and he'll pick it back up. <laughs> Get it back to Palmer then back to him. Off to Stewart. Stewart baseline drive in the paint. Lays it up. He airballs the layup attempt. And now the ball controlled by nobody then touched last by Waldorf. Their seventh turnover of the basketball game. So the Blue Hawks will put it back into play. So inbounds pass will go in to Fischel, and Aiden Fischel catches it in the defensive side of the court, brings it back across the timeline, comes top of the key around the steward screen, looking for some space, didn't get it, now drives inside, cut off again, back out front to Jaden Wright, that's a long three-pointer, and Jaden Wright buries it way outside. Right now, his five points off the bench, and Dickinson State, four of five from beyond the arc, back to a Five-point lead, 16 to 11. Noah Miller comes around the screen, goes inside, wide open. Shot blocked away, controlled underneath, though, by Edgefor. And he can't get the shot to go. And the rebound down to the Blue Hawks. Here comes Jake Daniel out front to D.C. Stewart. Left side, Jaden Wright, right penetrating. Comes baseline, no shot to Fitchell. Kicks it out right to Daniel. Jake Daniel gets the screen, comes top of the key, drives to the baseline, stops. Goes inside to Palmer. Nice assist. Beautiful pass by Dick Daniel. The wide open. Braden Palmer. He puts it home. And the lead is now at 7. 18 to 11. That's Dickinson State's biggest lead of the first half. Washington right side to Miller. Miller. Both these teams 4 and 4. Both these teams just a game out of first place. Ball tipped around. Comes back out to Miller from 3. Rattles in and out. D.C. Stewart. That one halfway down for Noah Miller. Wouldn't stay down. Outlet comes off to Aiden Fischel, and Fischel will hang on to it, directing traffic. Circles the finger, points to his right, comes to his right to the free throw line. Gets it back to Stewart. Stewart, one dribble, two dribbles. Gets it back to right, Jaden Wright. Down low to Palmer. Palmer inside with the little semi-hook shot. That one blocked away, and it's going to be controlled by Wiggins of Waldorf. 
Down to 10.25 left to go. Wiggins with the basketball. Picked up by Jake Daniel. Comes around the screen. Goes underneath the basket. Comes in the paint. Turns from eight. No shot there. Good defense by Jake Daniels as he cuts him off. Now Wiggins gets it inside the edge of four. Edge of four. Strong move from 15. Puts it up and short. Rebound saved in. Bounce to edge of four. He loses it. And it's going to be out of bounds. And it'll go back to Waldorf with 9.59. Should have a media timeout, I do believe. Should have the media timeout coming. Yep, we've got it. There it is. So 9.59 remaining to play. First half, Dickinson State 18. Waldorf University 11. We're back in one minute on KDIX and Consolidated Live. I wonder how much my car is worth. I just don't drive it anymore. Dan Porter Motors will buy it. I'm tired of my old car. I just want something different. Dan Porter Motors will buy it. What about boats and campers? Dan Porter Motors will buy it. Now for a limited time, Dan Porter Motors will give you the most for your car, boat, pickup, camper, motorcycle, jet ski, tractor. You get the picture. Just stop in, give them the keys, and they'll write you a check. It's that simple. See Dan Porter Motors, 58601. Still haven't seen Cordell Stinson, so I'm thinking Cordell may be still a bit under the weather. We'll wait and see. Ball will be put into play by Waldorf. They trail by their biggest margin of the first 10 minutes, 7 points, 18 to 11. Inbound pass will come in out front to... Grayson, Grayson against Egboulet in the paint from eight. Fires off the lip of the rim, not good. And Egboulet will come down with the rebound. Egboulet to Stevens. Trey, top of the key to Egboulet. Hand back to Jaden Wright. Jaden's going to throw up another three-pointer, and that's good. Jaden Wright. Eight points for the Dickinson High product, and it's a 21-11 to lead for Dickinson State. But nine and a half left to go. In the first half, in the paint. Nothing doing for Grayson, so he'll kick it back out to Washington. Washington around the double team, around the defender. Not good, but there's the rebound. There's the basket counted, and he'll go to the line. Inside that time, strong move by Woods, who came in for Edgefor, and he got the rebound, got the basket, drew the personal, trying for the three-point play. That'll go against Dickinson State, picking it up, Braden Palmer. So Palmer picks up his first. Back in for Waldorf. Sorensen, Gabe Sorensen will check back in. 21-13, Dickinson State by eight. Let's check uh, Waldorf. Grayson, Sorensen, Woods, Wiggins, and also staying in the ball game. For Waldorf is Harkama. So that's their five. Egbule, backdoor pass. They get it off to Stevens. Now back to Egbule on the baseline. Egbule penetrates, stops. Goes back with the pass to Palmer. Palmer inside against Woods. Turns, spins it up. Not good. And the rebound will come down and be controlled by the Warriors of Waldorf. Wiggins with the basketball. Holland getting ready to check back in. Wiggins, the lefty from three. Banks it up. Not good. Out of bounds. Touch last by Dickinson State, and the ball will go back to the Warriors. Palmer will take a breather. Holland will check back in. Warriors get a fresh 20 on the shot clock. Harkamo will do the honors. He'll bring it in from underneath his own basket. There we go, pushed off that time. Wiggins again, pushed the defender out of the way. Sometimes you get away with that. Sometimes you don't. And that time he was right beside the ref, so usually you don't. And that's turnover number eight in the ball game against Waldorf. 8.45 remaining to play. First half, 21-13. Dickinson State by eight. Out front with it. 
Fischel to right, Jaden Wright comes baseline, drives, scoops it up, can't get it to go, and the rebound's going to be taken down, and it's going to be controlled by Waldorf, and they'll attack offensively. Left side, quickly to the right side, comes Harkema. He drives to the basket, lays it up, not good. Wide open shot for Harkema, and now Dickinson State will attack. Now what have we got? Carrying the ball against the Blue Hawks. That's their second turnover. So they'll go to the free throw line, or they'll go back to Waldorf. No free throws attempted. Nigel Jenkins wanted a bump on Harkema on that missed layup attempt. And down court with the basketball. Harkema steps across the timeline to Sorensen. Hand back to Grayson. Grayson to Woods. Woods back to Wiggins. Wiggins behind the back dribble. Stops. No shot. Kicks it left side to Harkema. Harkema cut off by Stevens. He'll turn anyway from 15. Can't get it to go. And the rebound's going to be taken down and controlled by Stevens. He'll pull the dribble up. Hand it back to Aiden Fitchell. Fitchell with 745 will reset the offense. Wanted a screen. Didn't get it. Now goes to the basket. Lays it up. Not good, but he'll go to the line to shoot too. Nice little hesitation move. Fake to the left. Cut back to the right. Went to the right side of the lane. Low block. Put it in the right hand. Back in the left hand from the right side. Couldn't get the underhand scoop to go, but he'll be at the free throw line to shoot, too. Waldorf, two of three at the line. Dickinson State, two of two. I believe that personal went against Harkema. That would be his first. 21-13. Free throw up and good. Aiden Fisher, four off the bench. Right with eight off the bench for Dickinson State. And make Fitchell with five off the bench. 23-13. Again, Dickinson State matching their biggest lead of 10 with seven and a half left to play. Woods with the basketball. Free throw line. Turns it down. Goes underneath the Wiggins. Wiggins nearly stepped on the end line. Now they get it back out front. Grayson with the dribble drive, couldn't get it go back to Woods. Now back off to Wiggins. Wiggins, nice drive down the paint, lays it up over Fitchell and in. Good move by Wiggins, strong physical move, and he got his first basket of the night. Makes it 23 to 15. Kose Egbule attacking offensively for the Blue Hawks. Comes top of the key, drives to the basket. He misses the wide open layup, and the free throw, or the miss layup, comes back to the free throw line, picked up there by Waldorf. Wiggins with it, steps back, thought about the three, but covered up by Stevens. Now they get the pass off to Grayson, drives in the lane, Woods wide open. He'll lay it up and in. Timeout, Derek Selvig, Dickinson State by six on the CHI St. Alexis Health scoreboard. 6.45 remaining to play in the first half. Dickinson State 23, Waldorf University 17. We're back on KDIX Dickinson in 30 seconds. Big Boy Toys. Back at Scott Jim. Fischel, Egbule, Holland, Wright, and Stevens right now for the Blue Hawks. That lead was 23-13 just moments ago. Now it's down to six. Right wide open. Lays it up and in. Nice assist by Kose Egbule. Jaden Wright now in double figures with 10. 25-17. Dickinson State with the lead. The ball out of bounds. Touched last by the Blue Hawks. And it will go back to Waldorf University. Justin Wiggins will put the ball into play. Right in front of me. Gets a pass into Sorensen. Sorensen, top of the key. Keeps the drill alive. Now brings it back off quickly to Grayson. He'll fire from three. That won't go. Egbule will come out of there with the rebound. Waldorf shot 58% three-pointers two weeks ago today. Or tonight, just one of five. Right in the lane. No shot there. Kicks it back out to Egbule. Egbule around everybody. Stops. Ball loose on the four out of bounds. Touch last by Waldorf. D.C. Stewart getting ready to check in. Fisher will check out. And the Blue Hawks will go back to work offensively. Up by eight with six minutes and one second remaining to play in the first half. Inbounds pass comes in. 
controlled by Trey Stevens. Back off to D.C. Stewart. D.C. puts the ball on the floor once, gets it off to Stevens. Back to Aguilé. Back to right. Shot winding down. Wright will throw up a three-pointer. Comes off the backboard. Not good. And the rebound's going to be taken down and controlled by Waldorf. Wide open from three. Wiggins will fire. That spins in and out. Not good. Sometimes it makes a difference what gym you're shooting at. Waldorf at home couldn't miss. At Scott Jim, they can't make three-pointers. Left side, Aigboulet brings it back, top of the key. Little hesitation move, has it poked away and stolen. Turnover number three on the drive to the basket. Shot blocked away by Stewart. Great defense as he blocked Harkman's shot and then comes up with the loose basketball. 5-10 remaining to play. Stewart gets it to Stevens. Stevens from 15 pulls up an instant. Trey Stevens now with five, the lead back to 10 at 27 to 17. That lead coming with five minutes remaining to play in the first half. Out front with the basketball, Wiggins comes right to left, back to the left side, back down the lane, and we got a player control. Great job that time by Dickinson State. Jaden Wright, turnover number nine in the ball game. Jaden Wright, some quality minutes. You know, he'll stay in the ball game. Egbuay will come out. So Wright stays in. Wiggins took a little shot to the knee. Let's see if he's okay. Jake Daniel into the ball game. Eric Selvig, you can hear him right in front of me, shouting out instructions. He wants Josiah Holland to go to the right side of the lane, not the left side. Stevens with the handoff, gets that pass off quickly to Daniel. Back to Trey Stevens from three, can't get it to go, and the rebound comes down to Waldorf. Here they come on the attack with Washington. Nice little in entry pass, but Jake Daniel pushes it out of bounds, so they'll put it back into play. Noah Miller will come in. Harkema will check out. 4.25 left to go. First half. Blue Hawks have never trailed. We have not been tied. They've led by 10 points three times. The third one right now at 27-17, but trying to end that is Washington. No shot there. Gets the pass back off to Grayson. Picked up by Daniel. Grayson goes to Gabe Sorensen. Sorensen steps back. High arching three-pointer. Too strong. Rebound to Steven. And quickly down court with the basketball comes Trey. Trey will work it back to Jaden Wright. Way beyond the top of the key. Out near the Blue Hawk at center court. Now to D.C. Stewart. Stewart hands it back to Stevens. Stevens back to Stewart. Wide open from three and he buries it. D.C. Stewart. Two of two from beyond the arc. Makes it a 30 to 17 lead for Dickinson State with 3.45 left to go in the first half. Edge of four, way out front. The big guy at 6'9", goes to Miller, and we got a grab. That'll go against. Well, let's see who it goes against. Trey Stevens will pick it up. Fisher will check into the ball game. Stevens with his second personal. So Stevens picks up his second. That brings Fisher back into the ball game. Inbounds pass comes to Edge of four. Edge of four. Goes back out front. Gets that pass off quickly to Harkema. Harkema back to Noah Miller. Miller tried to go inside. Cut off by Fischel. Back to Sorensen. Sorensen on the drive. Will lay it up. Can't get it to go. Tips it up and in, though. Nice effort by Sorensen. Now we've got a whistle. What have we got? Play a game warning against Sorensen after making the stop. 3.15 left to go. 30-19. to Dickinson State in the lead. Aigboule in. D.C. Stewart will check out. Fischel gets the inbounds pass from Jake Daniel. Works his way across the timeline. Hand back to Egboulet. Egboulet back off to Jake Daniel. Jake works his way baseline. Nearly lost it. Now gets it back. Fires it back out front to Egboulet. Egboulet trying to come around a right screen. Couldn't get the screen. So goes back to Daniel. Back to Fischel. Fischel with the shot clock at 7. Penetrates inside. Backs in, turns, fakes. He'll spin to his left, turn and fire from 12. Can't get it to go. And the rebound down to... What have we got? Touch last, they say, as it goes out of bounds. Off edge of four. Off the missed shot by Fischel. So the ball back to Dickinson State. They'll reset the shot clock to 20. 
Holland gets the inbounds pass. Quick hand back to right. Fakes from three. Comes around the screen. Floats it up. That's an air ball. It'll go out of bounds. And it will go. And it will go back to. To Waldorf. Two and a half minutes remaining to play. First half. Down the lane. Grayson has his shot blocked away. But we got a block. And that will go against Egboule. He'll pick up his second. Oh, his first, excuse me. Two shots coming. So two shots coming at the free throw line. 30 to 19. Dickinson stayed in the lead. Grayson at the line to shoot two. First one is up and good. Three of four now, or make it, yep, three of four for the Waldorf Warriors, the Hawks four, four. Haven't had a lot of free throws, really a quickly played first half here. Second free throw looks good again and is good. So Grayson goes two for two. His first two points, averages 12 and a half. With 2.20 left to go, Blue Hawks lead is nine. That's been as big as 13. Waldorf on a little mini run here, a 4-0 run. Aguilé gets free, gets it on the wing, goes right to left. On the wing, two right. Now back to Egboule, then to Fischl. Now to Egboule from three. And so say Egboule. Wide open, buries the three. Dickinson states 70% from beyond the arc. They lead at 33-21. That's what you call sizzling. Miller, wide open, throws it up for grabs. Hedgefor comes down with it. Takes it way back out to Sorensen. Sorensen hangs on to it. Washington trying to go baseline, cut off, comes in the lane, spins back to his left, goes to Sorensen, he'll fire from three and hit it. Tough shot for Sorensen, and he got it to go. Sorensen with his second field goal, he has five, 33-24. A minute 25 left to go, Fischl with the basketball, hand back to Egboule, Egboule on the dribble, back off to Fischl, Fischl wants the clear out, looking for Holland, Josiah inside, back out to Fischl, Fischl thinks about the three, drives inside, stops, kicks it in the corner. Daniels puts the three-pointer up. That's an air ball, and it's going to be controlled by the Warriors of Waldorf. Grayson thought about the three, goes back to the right side to Sorensen to Miller. Miller steps into the three-pointer, and he puts it up and in. Miller hits the three, and the lead is six now. Nice run here by Waldorf. Little run. They were down 30-27. to 27. They're back now. To within six at 33 to 27. Fischl with the basketball will pull it back out front. Fischl behind the back. Works that shot clock down to 10 with 30 seconds on the game clock. Gets the screen from Holland, comes around it, drives to the basket, lays it up and in. Nicely done by Aiden Fischl. Fischl now with seven right on the afternoon. Jaden with 10 or the evening. 17 off the bench of Dickinson's 35 points. Coming from the two guards, coming in, not in a starting role, right, and Fischl. Eight seconds left, Miller has it. They get it back out front quickly. Washington back to Miller. Miller just going to throw up a prayer. That's going to be an air ball, and that's going to bring it in to our first half of action. And on the CHI, St. Alexia's health scoreboard at halftime. Dickinson State's led by as many as 13, they lead by eight at halftime, 35-27. We'll have uh, Coach Nelson checking in here momentarily, but while we wait for him, we're going to run through our scoring. Kose Egboule with three. Again, Cordell Stinson did not play. John Evans did not play. Josiah Holland did not score. Trey Stevens had five. Jaden Wright had a total of 10 off the bench. Aiden uh, Fischel had a total off the bench of seven. Jake Daniel had two. D.C. Stewart had six. Braden Palmer had two in the first half. For Waldorf, they were led by Josh Woods with four. A total of two points uh, for Grayson. Wiggins had a basket for two. And also coming up with some points for Waldorf. Edge of four had four. Five points in the ball game for Sorensen. Three for Miller. Uh, Washington had three. And Harkema had four in the ball game for the Waldorf Warriors. Again, 35-27. Dickinson State in the lead. Their biggest lead again, 13 at 30-17. Waldorf did not have the lead. And we uh, 
We're never tied in the first half of this basketball game. So we're going to send it back now to the studios of KDIX, and then we'll come back with some team numbers and more numbers for you as on our halftime report. We'll have a little break here for Coach Nelson to step in and visit with us, and we'll return to Scott Jim. J.D., take it away back at the studio. The Eagles Club in downtown Dickinson is the best place to get together with your friends and enjoy a nice cold beverage any time of the day. They have weekly lunch specials from 11 to 1.30 and beer and wings Thursdays from 5 to 9. The Eagles is also available for your special event. Call now to reserve your date. You'll find everything the Eagles is planning on their Facebook page, and you can check out their monthly calendar to see all the entertainment and events going on. Whether you're looking for something different for lunch or something fun to do with your friends, try the Eagles in downtown Dickinson. visiting with Dickinson State University Blue Hawk women's coach and of course that is Eric Nelson and a nice win tonight for the uh, Lady Blue Hawks as they pick up a victory over Waldorf University revenging a defeat from a couple of weeks ago as Dickinson State on it I grabbed the let me see there I got the right one now there we put that one over there as Dickinson State won at 60 to 44 and uh, Blue Hawks got off to a slow start uh, 14 to 8 got down led by two at halftime and then Lo and behold, they had a big third quarter instead of the other team having it. Outscored Waldorf by 23 to 6 in that third quarter. And then a pretty even fourth quarter for that 60-44 victory. But I know it's something you wanted to do, Coach Nelson. Get back home, play well, great defensive effort tonight, solid offensive effort. Before we break them down, just some general impressions. The girls like struggled a little bit. Both teams kind of did to get going. Got a little bit better in the second half. They were better in the first quarter. You were better in the second quarter. Way better in the third quarter than kind of even in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and I, th I think we got up like eight to two to start, uh, you know, for the game. And then all of a sudden, uh, you know, I think we went on a, a big offensive drought where we just couldn't make anything. And before you know it, we looked up and we're down 14 to eight. So um, just a disappointed just in our shot making. You know, our, our defense kept us in it in the first half for right. sure. You know, we, they only scored 22 points. So. We kind of relied on our defense in the first half until we kind of got in the rhythm. And um, then we just came out in the third quarter and we looked like a completely different team offensively. The ball was moving. We were attacking the paint. Um, we got some easy stops and then we got some run out layups. And then you could just tell our, our confidence really, um, you know, was we, we were playing with more confidence there in that third quarter. But it always started with our defense. And so um, a great defensive effort. Uh, you know, they hit a couple threes, you know, in the last couple minutes of the game to, to get to 40, but for the most part, we held them into the, in the 30s there. So great defensive effort. Um, and then we got a lot of contributions from, from a lot of different people. Um, you know, I thought Whitney Edwards played one of her best games of the year, five of six from the floor for 10 points. Um, obviously, KK had a good game. Um, and Heather Labrie finally, you know, kind of stepped up and, and made some outside shots. You know, she was four of eight from three. So um, I think it was a great thing for us to, to be back at home uh, to come out with a good defensive effort and then we finally played pretty well in the second half offensively to get kind of that big big cushion there in the third quarter and that allowed us to play some some other people there in the fourth hey talk a little bit about i look at the numbers here and uh, the rebounding effort really outstanding 43 to 27 you out rebounded them and of course samantha O's who had six points at nine rebounds uh, katie had eight rebounds for you so you got a really good job both on the offensive and defensive boards and that makes such a difference no matter who you are, if you can out-rebound the team almost two to one. Yeah, especially because that means you're only giving them one shot on their end. You know? So if we can get the defensive rebound, not only does that only limit them to one shot, but it allows us to get out in transition too. And so, um, you know, Sam didn't have a great offensive night, but she was all over the glass. Um, they were putting two or three people on her constantly, and that opened up a lot of other people. But it was a total team effort on the glass. And we know, and we talked to the girls early, you know, especially when they came out in that zone, if we're going to miss some shots, we want to have a lot of people crash in the glass and try to get some extra rebounds, and I thought we did a pretty good job of that. And the two things we always talk about, you know, I feel like it's we're always, um, you know, when you and I talk about wins and losses, it's about rebounding and turnovers, and I thought we did a really good job on both of those tonight. You know, you played 13 players tonight. 11 of them played double-digit minutes, and that's nice because you got to come back again, which we'll touch on in a minute, and play. Yep. But you, you don't often get that opportunity sometimes on Friday night to do that. And who knows what will happen tomorrow. You never know, but it's a nice situation to give some of those kids a little bit of a break that start for you and play a lot of minutes. Yeah, especially like Sam. You know, we looked up in the fourth quarter, and we had a comfortable lead. And, you know, Coach Jimmy's like, do you want me to put Sam back in? It's like, nope, let's get her some rest. Because Whitney was playing well. She had, she had proven herself and was doing a good job, so we let her kind of get some extended minutes. And same thing with KK. You know, KK plays so hard. 
Um, it's nice to get her a little bit of a break, and she wasn't in foul trouble tonight, so she played some good minutes. So it, it is really nice because that Saturday game is so tough playing back-to-back -back like that. So it's really nice on Friday night when you can kind of spread the minutes out a little bit, and hopefully that'll keep us more fresh tomorrow. Hey, before we look ahead to as this interview runs this afternoon against the Turbo, let's just go back to last Saturday. You played a Mayville State team at uh, tonight, demolished the Dakota State team, who's number eight in the nation, and of course, uh, Mayville State number 11 or 12, but yep. you had a great first half against them. Very yep. competitive ball game with eight, 10 points, and then they had a big third quarter, but yep. they're capable of doing that. Just some final thoughts of that game, and I know going in to the locker room, you didn't feel too bad, and of course they came out and, and teams that have that capability sometimes will do that. They just kind of yeah. And their, their two best best players took over in the second half. You know, uh, Jordan Zeruss and Mackenzie Hughes. I think Jordan Zeruss had 27 and Mackenzie Hughes had 24. And those are two of the top, you know, players in in uh, in our conference. And sometimes when they get going, it's it's pretty tough to stop. And that's why they're ranked number 12 in the country. And um, I, they they must have flexed their muscles tonight. You know, big time. Um, if you would have told me they beat Dakota State by 30, I would have said you're you're nuts. Um, so. They're, but they're both really, really good for a reason, and, and we just didn't score. You know, I think we ended up with 41 points, something like that. You know, their defense, their zone defense gave us some, some fits a little bit, and we weren't able to make some outside shots. But it, Mayville State is a tough place to play, and yeah. I, since I've been at Dickinson, I haven't won at Mayville yet. You never have. No, nope. you know, we, we've won a couple games at home, but I have not beat Mayville at Mayville. It's just, for whatever reason, tough place to shoot and a tough place to play, and obviously they're a really good team, so that, that's a big part of it too. Um, but, yeah, no, I thought we played a good, good first half, and, then I think, you know, maybe, uh, and Coach Hutter told me afterwards, said we kind of looked a little bit tired. You know, we went to Waldorf, to Viterbo, to Valley on Wednesday, and then to uh, Mayville on Saturday. So that was kind of a tough stretch for our girls, and, you know, we just kind of lost a little bit of luster and didn't score the basketball well enough to, to be in that game. Uh, but like I said, they're, they're a top, you know, 15 team in the country for a reason. That was a tough stretch on the broadcaster, and I didn't even play yeah. any minutes. Yeah. So that, was a, that was quite an interesting two weeks. Yeah. But today you're back home against Viterbo, a team that you played well down there for a half and then really had a bad quarter again. Yep. And they opened it up a little bit. But I think that's a team, you know, that's a big game tomorrow for both you and Viterbo in the standings and everything. So you got to come back, little scouting report. And what do you got to do differently this time than last time? Yeah, well, last time the third quarter, I believe it was like 31 to yeah. 7. And they just didn't miss in the third quarter. And, and we didn't make anything. And but before you know it, you look up and you're down 20. So that's going to be a big game. You know, I think they, they lost to Valley City tonight. So, you know, they're in they're in fourth. You know, we're kind of around that fifth, sixth. So it's another team that's above us in the standings. And we're playing at home. And it's going to be senior night. That's the other okay. thing. You know, we want to make sure that we send our seniors out on the right way. So hopefully we can come out and play with a lot of energy and a lot of intensity. And, um, you know, kind of send our seniors off on a good note. Well, congratulations on the win tonight. Uh, great effort from the kids, both offensively and defensively. Get some rest tonight, uh, both the coaching staff and the kids. Good luck uh, today against Viterbo. Sounds good. Thanks, Rod. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. Got her down. Okay, when can you get her back? To Challenges and struggles are part of everyday life for all of us. At Infinity Real Estate Group, we don't back down and we take it all in stride. In these struggles, there are no mistakes, only life lessons. We may not be that good at some things, but we do excel in real estate. We are Infinity Real Estate Group. Experience the Infinity way. World-renowned YouTube chef Lamise O oh brings her authentic Caribbean cuisine to the Dickinson area. Island Cuisine is open in the St. Joe's Plaza with available takeout and dine-in options. You'll find their entire menu on Facebook or call 483-9918 to place a pickup order. Enjoy incredible dishes like brown stew chicken or everyone's favorite, Rasta Pasta. Call now to order or stop in Island Cuisine located in St. Joe's Plaza, Dickinson. 36% for Waldorf. Waldorf 3 of 9, 33% from beyond the arc. Dickinson red hot from beyond the arc. 7 of 11, that's 64%. And uh, for Dickinson State, the rebounding numbers 14 to 13 in favor of Dickinson State University as they lead in the rebounding category by 1, 14 to 13. And the turnovers, Dickinson State had four, Waldorf had nine, but they had eight turnovers in the first four and a half, five minutes and then settled down and were pretty consistent 
after that. But again, Jaden Wright with a total of 10 leading Dickinson State. Gabe Sorensen with five leading Waldorf. A couple of other quick scores. We gave you the women's score just, uh, again, 60 to 44 Dickinson State over Waldorf. And high school basketball, boy, Dickinson Trinity and Watford City have gone on it all year long. They had a three-point game up in Watford City just about three weeks ago, and they had another three-point game tonight, and again, Watford City prevailed 58-55, and also on the girls' side in AA, it was Mandan defeating Dickinson High uh, by a score of 76 to 35. We'll get and Dickinson Trinity boys again at comfortable. I believe, you know, I wrote it down, and I can't find it, but I think it was like 70 to 35 or 70 to 36, uh, a final score on the Dickinson and uh, uh, Standing Rock ball game. Right now, I'm going to send it back to the. What was that, my, Jim? Well, I was I was in the uh, ballpark anyway, 72 to 39. I'm going to send it back to JD. Jim, let's take a two and a half minute break here, and then we'll come back with second half action. Dickinson State and Waldorf University, two and a half minutes away on KDIX. Favorite thing about my street? My co-op. It isn't just about electricity. It's about power. The power of information. About safety. Efficiency. Technology. I am the co-op. I am the co-op. And the co-op is me. The Hub in North Dickinson is more than your ordinary convenience store. From Godfather's Pizza and the Hub Cafe to gourmet coffee, tea, and more. Stop by early for breakfast or grab something to go. We carry a variety of donuts that we make fresh every day. If your vehicle is dirty, we now have a state-of-the-art car wash at both locations. Stop in and see what we have to offer at the Hub located on North Highway 22 or the Hub West Dakota Oil on East Villard in Dickinson. We're changing the way people think about the convenience store industry. Clogged or slow-moving drains are no match for Josh and his licensed techs at Unplugged Drain Cleaning of Dickinson. They provide 24-hour service to solve all your sewer problems. Using only the best equipment along with the latest drain camera technology to resolve issues while maintaining the integrity of your pipes. They take pride in thoroughly explaining your options, providing free estimates and great service, and making sure your issues are resolved permanently. Contact Unplugged Drain Cleaning at 701-290-9737 or online at UnpluggedDrains.com. Western Cooperative Credit Union is your local loan headquarters. Thinking about a new car or truck, ATV, boat, or RV? We'll make the process quick and easy. Call us today. Western Cooperative Credit Union. 85 years the Western way. Western Cooperative Credit Union is dedicated to offering you the best financial services around. We're local, we're personal, and we're great at what we do for you. Join the herd. Western Cooperative Credit Union. 85 years the Western way. West Dakota Oil and Fitterer Oil Company proudly offers products and services that help fuel our customers' lives with clean burning propane and bulk fuel and convenient on-site delivery with premium farm and road fuels. We provide energy where and when you need it most with locations throughout Southwest North Dakota. West Dakota Oil and Fitterer Oil Company, locally owned, locally strong, the products you need with the service you deserve. Bravera's more than a bank. We're a group of people in the business of helping communities forge on. At the counter, we offer convenience so the day can forge on. In the thick of the hall, we protect your peace of mind so the season can forge on. And around the table, we make room for everyone so life can forge on. We're more than a bank. We're your path ahead. Bravera, forge your path. Females wrestle. Uh, I have two younger sisters, and both of them wrestled in high school, and one of them still currently wrestles uh, in her last year. Of, and uh, it's just ex it's exciting. It's a great way to expand the sport of wrestling and get both get both genders out there. It's awesome. All right, Tristan was on the board while Jimmy was doing the women's game and split up here. Now he kind of knows what it's like to run back and forth, but he had a little more time than Jim and I usually get. But Tristan, great to have you here. And he's going to add a little color commentary in the second half of this basketball game. Again, the ball will belong to Waldorf University. They'll put it into play. They're doing a little bit of that work on the floor. They just have had some moisture with people coming outside. You know, it got warm enough today where it just kind of melted a little bit. Well, then you got people coming outside and going underneath the baskets and coming around. 
getting a little bit of moisture and they want to make sure it's right. And Waldorf, we had that problem a couple weeks ago and it cost John Evans a strained meniscus and Colbert, Kose Egbele a severely strained ankle. Now, Kose is back. We have not seen John. John is suited up again. He was suited up last week, did not play, suited up tonight and has not played yet tonight. And of course, Cordell Stinson still remains on the bench also for Dickinson State. Hawks will go with Egbule, Daniel, Holland, Steven, and now, let's see, Cordell is in there, so he'll he'll start the second half. So Cordell Stinson will get a start in the second half for Dickinson State. We're ready to go to work. Ball will be put into play by Harkema. Gets it into Washington. Hands off to Miller. Miller comes back off. Washington Hawks has done a nice job against him. Their leading scorer, and they've held him down a bit. He averages about 13 a game, and he's had just three tonight. Out front with it, Harkema. Backs away from the pressure, pulls up from 15, looks good, but comes off the lip of the rim, not good. And the rebound down to Dickinson State. Stinson to Stevens. Stevens will settle in out front with the basketball. Trey comes top of the key, stops, gets it off quickly. They go inside, Egbule, nice little hesitation move, blocked away. Off to Holland, he'll lay it up and in. Good patience by Egbule after the block shot. Just waited for it to come back to him, flipped it to Holland, got the assist, and Holland got the basket, and the Hawks back up by 10. 37-27. Their biggest lead has been 13. Noah Miller out front. Dribble drive. Stops. Goes back off. Washington with it. Looks inside. Goes instead outside to Sorensen. Sorensen left to right. Gets it back to Washington. Washington back to Sorensen. Back off to Washington. Free throw line. Harkema. Harkema. Dribble drive. Can't get the shot away. Back to Washington from three. In and out. Not good. Rebound down to Stevens. And the Hawks will attack offensively. Here come the Hawks on the fly. Daniel to Stevens to Egbule. Egbule to the left, to the right. Loses the dribble, gets it back to Stinson. Now they go corner to Daniel inside Holland. Holland double team steps through. He has the shot blocked away, but coming up with the arm bar that time, Edgefor will pick up the personal. And Josiah Holland will go to the free throw line. Josiah averages about five and a half, six points a game, has two tonight in the basketball game. And Josiah will settle in. The senior ready. Free throw is up. And good. 38-27. One more shot coming. Both these teams 4-4 four four in conference play. Hawks 13-10 overall. 9-13 for Waldorf overall. Second free throw, not good. So the lead stays at 11, 38-27. To the basket, nice move underneath by Washington. Cut off, comes back against Egbule and lays it up and in. Good work by Washington. That was a tough move because Egbule right there in the lead back to nine, single digits at 38-29. Trey Stevens leaves it off for Stinson. Back to Jake Daniel. Jake looks inside, goes low block to Holland. Holland spins inside, comes right, fakes right, goes up, blocked away. Gets it back, turns again, puts it up, can't get it to go. Holland had two great looks, one block, one miss. Good job by Edgefor underneath defensively. Harkema on the drive, puts up the shot, not good, but he'll go to the line to shoot two. Let's see who that goes against. A couple guys came over to help, and who got him? They say Holland got him. Josiah picks up his first, and to the free throw line. We'll go Harkema. Harkema averages nine and a half, has four tonight. His first trip to the line. Waldorf was 4 of 5 in the first half at the free throw line. Dickinson State 4 of 4. Free throw up and good for Harkema. He now has 5. The lead is 8. 38-30 on the CHI St. Alexia South scoreboard. One more shot coming. This one is good again. A little 3-0 run. Gets Waldorf back to within. 7 points. 38-31. Actually a 4-0 run. Right side, here comes Stevens. No shot there. Goes to Egbule. Egbule penetrates. Has the ball poked away. Loose and stolen. Turnover number five or four, Dickinson State. And a wide open breakaway layup. Washington lays it up and in. And Waldorf has closed the gap to five at 38-33. With 17-30 remaining to play. And now they've got Dickinson State out of sync a bit offensively. Stinson has the ball batted loose. It's going to be down the floor and out of bounds. Touched last by... Egbule. So the ball will go back. Turnover number five, Dickinson State. Right in. Egbule will check out. 
Noah Miller will put the ball into play. And the ball will come back to the Warriors. Down by five. With the basketball. Washington. Left side. Harkema. Edgefor. Top of the key. Hand back to Washington. Washington comes right. Stops. Bounces it out to Sorensen. Sorensen. Gets a pass off. Down to two. Shot blocked away by Jake Daniels. Throwing it up. That's going to be a shot clock violation. Great defense that time by Jake Daniels. Blocking that shot. Let's see what we've got. Got a little delay here as they take a look at Dickinson High boys lost 76 to 69 to Mandan tonight. Inbounds pass will come in, controlled by the Blue Hawks. Holland with it. Hand back to right, and now Washington's going to run right over the top of Trey Stevens. Good sportsmanship, though. He helped Trey up. Trey got that shot to the elbow, and that uh, sometimes stings a little bit. Going to shake it off that left elbow. <laughs> and Washington kind of laughing about it. Wasn't intentional, it was just a good screen. And again, he just tried to get through it. Jaden Wright, big first half with 10 points for the Dickinson High product. To Holland, back to Jaden Wright. Jaden pen penetrates inside, not good. Holland there to tip it up and in. Jaden Wright with the miss, Holland with the follow, and he now has a total in the ball game of five and the lead back to seven, 40 to 33. Down court with the basketball. Dickinson State sets defensively. Waldorf attack. Edgefor gets it back to Noah Miller. Miller on the drive. Edgefor got free about two feet above the rim, and he just lays it in with two hands with the two-hand slam, making it 40 to 35 on the CHI. St. Alexis South scoreboard with 15.55 remaining to play in the ball game. Left-hand side, Jake Daniel with it. Daniel gets it off. And now we've got a hold. That will go against number 10. It's black. That's Harkema. So Harkema will pick up his second. That'll be number three against Waldorf as a team. And the ball back to Dickinson State. Stevens gets the inbound pass. Trey comes right side to right. Right. Puts it on the floor. Drives. Cut off. Goes to Stevens. Back to Daniel. Off to Stinson. Down low. Holland. Holland backing in. Turning. Setting. Firing. Can't get it to go. Rebound controlled by Jake Daniel. Great job by Jake. Jaden Wright thought about the three. Now they get it back out to Steven. Stevens will get it back to Jake Daniel, and he'll hit the three-pointer. Jake Daniel buries the three for Dickinson State. He has five. And the basketball back to Waldorf. Down by eight now, 43-25. Washington with it, comes around the screen. Oh, they got him open again. And putting it up and in again. That time for Dick, or what, with the two-hand slam is Edgefor, Edgefor. So Edgefor now with eight, 43-37. Stinson, free throw line, pulls up from 17. That one won't go down, and the rebound tapped around, and it will be controlled by Waldorf. Right side on the drive, shot is up, shot is good, count the basket. And he'll go to the free throw line. He being Washington. So right now, Tristan Washington and uh, Waldorf well, really taking the momentum away from Dickinson State down to a four-point ball game. Yeah, they found a little. They found an opening somewhere in, uh, in our strategy or in Dickinson State strategy, and they're exploiting it, and it's starting to work for them. Well, Washington will go to the free throw line. Washington in the first half, three points. He has three baskets, six points in the second half, nine and. 13 is his average, so he's really stepped up his game here in the first five minutes. Free throw is good. And just like that, it is a three-point lead for Dickinson State. 43-40 to 40 over Waldorf with 14 and a half remaining to play. Jake Daniel out front, pulls up, gets it to Stinson. Stinson to Palmer, down low. Holland picks up the personal, he checks out. Palmer, nothing doing inside, goes to Stinson. Stinson on the dribble drive inside, has the ball stolen away, turnover six. Here comes Washington. Off to Miller, and he'll lay it up and in. And right now, Waldorf with the defense turning into offense. Seven turnovers, Dickinson State, 43 to 42. Waldorf back to within one. They've never led in this ballgame. Stinson to Daniel. Daniel with the basketball. 
Comes right side, goes to Palmer. Palmer off to Jaden Wright. Jaden Wright inside, stops. Back to Palmer. Palmer stops. To Jake Daniel in the corner, his three-pointer. Hits the side of the backboard. That's not good, and the rebound comes down. Controlled by Waldorf. Hakama with it. With 13.45 left to go, Hakama in the paint, loses it, and he's going to be grabbed. Palmer will pick up the personal, so that'll be Palmer's second. Dickinson stays third as a team. Edwards will come in. Edgefor will check out. And Waldorf will put it back into play. Down by one, 43-42. They trail by eight at halftime. Trailed by 13 in the first half, 11 in the second half. With the basketball, Washington with it. Out front to Miller. Comes off his shoulder. Now it'll be picked up by Washington. Washington will bring it back out front. Top of the key. Washington looks for some screens. Finally gets one. Comes right side. Steps back from three. Fires. That's not good. The rebound comes off and it's controlled by Fischel. And Dickinson State will attack offensively up by one. Stinson. Corner to Jake Daniel. Back to Stinson. Out front. Now they go to Fischel. Fischel to right. Wright trying to find the baseline. Drive. Couldn't. Back to Fischel. Fischel picks the dribble up. Now puts it on the floor. Comes around the screen. Penetrates inside. Comes down low. Back out front to Stinson. Shot clock at seven. Stinson gets the pass off in the corner. Fischel from three. Got it. Aiden Fischel with the three-pointer. Aiden now on the night with 10 points. 46-42. The Hawks stem that surge by Waldorf a bit with that official three-pointer at the 12.40 mark left to play. Here comes Washington trying to penetrate. Good cut off that time by Jaden Wright. Back to Miller. Miller will work against Fitchell. Gets cut off again. Comes to the wing. Gets it back out to Woods. Woods back off to Washington. Washington 15-footer. Up and not good. Rebound out of bounds. Touch last by Dickinson State. So the ball will go back to the Warriors, they'll put it into play. 12-21 remaining to go in the ball game. Dickinson State 46, Waldorf 42. They do the alley-oop to Wood, to Washington rather, and the shot is up to Harkema. Can't get it to go. Harkema will come back out front and reset the offense. Harkema comes to the paint, stops, looks, no shot. Gets it back to Washington. Washington off to Sorensen. Sorensen on the dribble drive. Comes inside and he carried the basketball. A double dribble. Turnover number 10. Waldorf and the ball back to Dickinson State. Hawks will get it back. Sorensen tying his shoe. They let you do that in wrestling if your shoe comes untied? They give you a timeout? Or Tristan? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. I, think you're supposed, I think you actually lose a team point do if you? your shoe's untied. All right. <laughs> they don't do that in basketball, but on the mats, it's, that's tough guys on the mats anyway. Put the basketball out front, Fischel with it. Goes to Jaden Wright, Wright holds on to it to Stinson. Stinson swings it off to Fischel. Fischel trying to go baseline, does, but gets cut off there. Goes back to Stinson from three. That's up and good. Cordell Stinson, his second shot, a three-pointer. Hawks have just been on fire from beyond the arc. Back to a seven-point lead, a 6-0 run. Three-pointer by Miller. He matches the Simpson three-pointer. Noah Miller with the three-pointer. Makes it a 49-45 ball game. Waldorf in the first half. Three of eight. Three of nine from beyond the arc. One of four here in the second half. The Blue Hawks have been unconscious. Fischel! What a drive! Wow! I don't know how he does it. He's not very big, he's not very strong, but he just seems to be able to go in and mix it up down low. He's incredibly coordinated to be in the air like that, take a hit, still look at the rim, and make the correct shot to make it. That's impressive. Well, that's about the best description I've heard of a play, and that's just what he did. <laughs> Thank you, Tristan. And he did it all, and he's got two more points. Fischl now with 12 in the ball game, looking for 13, and he gets it. The lead back to seven again, 52 to 45, with 11-10 left to go. Again, remember, we've had no ties. Waldorf's never led. They've been within one. Now they're going to drive again, count it again, as Wright gets beat by Washington. And he'll go to the free throw line, and he'll shoot one. So we got a chance for a three-point play the old-fashioned way. 52 to 47. Egg Boulay is going to check in for Jaden Wright. Holland will check in for Palmer. 
Washington, as we said, a quiet first half, but he's got nine in the second half. Just three in the first half. He was just one of three from the floor. Average is 13. And he's at 12 right now, so he's really exploded here in the first nine minutes of the second half. Free throw is good. Waldorf, eight of nine at the free throw line. 52 to 48. Dickinson State by four. 10-55 remaining to play in this ball game. Fischel on the dribble. Gets it back to Jake. Daniel Jake holds it. Drops it off, and now we've got a hold of Stinson trying to get free. And coming into him is Grayson with the hold. That'll be team follow number five, Waldorf. Grayson will pick up his second. And at the free throw line will be no one because we're not in the bonus yet. So Dickinson State will get the ball back. Inbounds pass comes to Fischel. Fischel will put it in. Get it back to Aguilé. Aguilé back to Fischel. Fischel around the Holland screen. Trying to penetrate. Gets run into and run over. That time, and that will go against Washington. So Washington will pick it up. Team follow number six. Washington second. So Washington will pick it up. For a brief moment there, it looked like it was a wrestling takedown. Yeah, that was. There's been a couple of hard hits in the second half. Inbounds pass comes in to Egbule. Egbule out front with it, works on the dribble. Comes to the corner of the free throw line. Back to Daniel. Now they get it underneath. Stinson on the drive. Lays it up and in. Athletic move by Cordell Stinson. Baseline to basket. Now the inbounds play. Wood steps over the end line. Turnover 11. Dickinson State will get it back. And Derek Selvig wants a 30-second timeout. 10.25 left to go. Hawks by six. 54-48. We're back in 30 seconds. Computer viruses are bad, and I'm as bad as they come. <laughs> I love breaking stuff. Once I'm inside your system, that's when the real damage begins. And there's almost nothing you can do to stop me. Oh no, consolidated. Make sure you're protected with a cybersecurity solution from Consolidated. Don't wait until it's too late. Call Consolidated today. Look at scores again early tonight. Girls, Watford City uh, over Trinity, 58-55. Mandan over Dickinson, 76-35. Dickinson State over Waldorf, 60-44. Trinity Boys, 72-39 over Standing Rock. Inbounds pass to Stinson from 12. Banks it up, can't get it to go. Holland there to tip it up and in. He's done that a couple of times tonight off the Stinson miss. And Mandan got by Dickinson High in Mandan. And boys, 76-69 for a full, full night. Of activity. Wiggins out front tried to go back door. Stinson gets the hand on it and slaps it into the upper reaches of Scott Jim, the upper bleacher there. Edge of four will check back in the 6 9 post player. Edge of four, eight points in the ball game. Got down to 43 42. And then Dickinson State opened it back up now to eight points. Ball out front. It comes off quickly to Wiggins. Wiggins off to Washington. Washington to Grayson. Back to Wiggins. Wiggins picked up by Daniel. He'll float up that little three-pointer and bury it. They can get rolling. They haven't yet done it yet tonight. 56-51. But again, that three-point play brings them back to within five points. Fischel with the three-point attempt. Nope, he's going to pull it back. Gets it off to Stinson. Now to Egbule. Egbule back to Fischel on the wing. Left side. Egbule. Fischel on the drive. He'll be held up by Wiggins. Should be a bonus now, I do believe. Got a personal against Weldor, 34. Edgefor will pick it up. Dickinson State will go to the free throw line to shoot the one and one when we come back, but it's a media timeout. Full timeout. We're back in one minute on KDIX Dickinson. The dictionary defines community as a group of people living in the same place or sharing common goals. Community is the largest part of our name and we make it the largest part of our business. We support our local schools, organizations, youth programs, and local events from Bowman to Bismarck because we all share a common goal to better the quality of life in our communities. Come bank with us at Dakota Community Bank and Trust, your real community bank. I wonder how much my car is worth. 
I just don't drive it anymore. Dan Porter Motors will buy it. I'm tired of my old car. I just want something different. Dan Porter Motors will buy it. What about boats and campers? Dan Porter Motors will buy it. Now for a limited time, Dan Porter Motors will give you the most for your car, boat, pickup, camper, motorcycle, jet ski, tractor. You get the picture. Just stop in, give them the keys, and they'll write you a check. It's that simple. See Dan Porter Motors, 58601. Scott Jim, 56 Dickinson State, 51 Waldorf. Both teams battling to try and get back in that top spot. As we said, just a game separating first place from sixth place in this league. And at the line, Josiah Holland will shoot the one and one. Holland readies himself. Free throw is up and good. Six eight post player out of Washington State. Not the university, just the state. Eight points in the second half. Josiah did not score in the first half. Second free throw, not good again. So he goes one for two both times, hitting the first, missing the second. 9.25 left to go. 57 Dickinson State, 51 Waldorf. Miller across the timeline, looking for the screen, doesn't get it. So he just dribbles to his left, hands it back to Washington. Washington comes inside, nothing doing. Out to Wiggins. Wiggins off to Grayson, down low, edge of four. Trying to back in, turns, comes back. No shot there. Back to Wiggins. Wiggins going to throw up a three from way outside. That's not good. Ball tipped around. It'll go out of bounds back to Waldorf. So the ball back to the Warriors. How can I play him? Ball goes back. Ball will be put into play by Noah Miller. Miller. Gets it way out front to Wiggins. Wiggins back right side to Grayson. Grayson comes baseline against Stinson. Dishes it off. Edge of four will be edge of four will be followed down low by Holland. No, who's on the shot or on the pass? By Jake Daniels. Oh, Jake Daniels. They say so. They say it'll be two shots. So Holland came into him with his body later. So edge of four will go to the line. Edge of four, two of two at the line, and he'll shoot two. 57-51, and that one in and out, not good. He'll get another. Waldorf tonight, 80% at the line, 8 of 10. Dickinson State has been to the line nine times. They are 7 of 9, so both teams shooting the free throws pretty well. This one on the way is good. Back to a five-point lead for Dickinson State with 8.50 remaining in regulation. Dickinson State on the CHI, St. Alexia South scoreboard, up by 5, 57-52. On the dribble drive inside, they get it off to Stinson, wide open from three. That's going to be short. Jake Daniel comes down with the rebound. He's going to be grabbed, and the ball battered away and stolen. Turnover number eight, and quickly down court, they go to edge of four, way inside, loses the ball out of bounds, back to Dickinson State. Turnover number 12 against. Well, let's hold on and wait and see. We'll go back to Dickinson State. So the Blue Hawks will get it back, leading by 5, 57, 52. Ball comes into Fitchell. Fitchell will work across the timeline. Comes left side. Now back out of center court. Nearly lost it. Picks it back up. Goes behind the back. He drives towards the inside portion of the lane. Back to the baseline. Cuts through. No shot there. Gets it off to Jake Daniel. Jake back to Aigboulet. Wide open from three. That won't go down, and it's going to be controlled by Aigboulet on the long rebound. Here comes Aigboulet. Pulls back. Goes down low. Holland inside. Thinking about it. Turning. Has the ball poked away. He'll get it back out front. Down court. Three-pointer. Fischel won't go down. Jake Daniel. Another offensive rebound for Dickinson State. He's had a bundle of them tonight for the Blue Hawks. Fitchell will control it. Shot clock at seven. Fitchell comes right, comes left, stops, looks back door, throws it away. Turnover number nine, Dickinson State. Miller with it. Gets it off to Washington. Washington comes towards the paint. Free throw line, stops. Off to Grayson. Grayson thinking three. Grayson comes right around Stinson. Blocked away, controlled underneath. Out of bounds, touch last by Dickinson State. 
The defense down low that time by the Blue Ox. Stevens in, right in, Jake Daniel out, and also Fischel will check out with 7.09 left to go on the CHI St. Alexia South scoreboard. Dickinson State by 5, 57-52. They led by 8 at halftime, 13 in the first half, had an 11-point lead in the second half. They have never trailed, and we have not been tied in this ball game. With the basketball out front, Grayson, free throw line, fades from 17, bounces off the rim, off the glass, and in. Grayson with his second field goal, averages 12 and a half, has just four tonight, and it's 57 to 54. Dickinson State by three, Stevens with it to right with 6.45 left to go. Off to Stinson, he'll throw up a three-pointer, and that's good. Cordell Stinson, his second three-pointer, eight points, all in the second half. And down court with the basketball, Waldorf will step it across the timeline, Grayson with it. Thought they might take a timeout, but they did not. Here comes Grayson. He drives, shot is up, not good. Holland will come out of there with the rebound. Holland will push it off to Stevens to Wright. Wright comes in the paint, looks inside, back out front to Holland, back to Stevens, back off to Egbule. Egbule comes inside, not good, lays it up, not good, and then puts it up again. It is good. Timeout Waldorf, the lead back to 8, 62 54. On the CHI, St. Alexia South scoreboard, full timeout. Kristen Stur and myself, Rod Kleinen, will be back in 60 seconds with Scott Jim. It's uh, been down to one, down to three a couple of times. Now back up to eight for Dickinson uh, State. Blue Hawks will send out Stevens, Stinson, Wright, Palmer, and Aigboulet. All belong to Waldorf. Blue Hawks now again, Tristan kind of grabbing that momentum back. It's kind of really been a seesaw second half. It's been, yeah, it's been seesaw both sides, finding little chinks in each side's armor and strategy and exposing it and doing the best to capitalize on it. Well, Waldorf gets the ball into play. Out front with it, Washington, their leading scorers at a big second half. Edge of four inside from 12, puts it up, count it, and he'll go to the line. Just a power move by Edgefor. Big, strong young man. Edgefor now. Seven points in the second half, 11 in the ball game, right at his season average. And the lead is down to six again, 62 to 56, with 545 remaining to play. So Edgefor will go to the line. He'll shoot one. Free throw is up and good. Waldorf at the line tonight, six of seven in the second half, 10 of 12 in the ball game. Dickinson State. It's 7 of 9, so both teams shooting the free throws exceptionally well. Stinson on the dribble drive inside, a little 12-footer, puts it up too strong. Off the back iron, not good, rebound to Washington. Washington to Gray, and now they get it out right to Miller. Miller inside, and Wiggins wide open, got right on his shoulder. Right fell down, and Wiggins had the easy pick, and Wiggins now with a total of 7, 62-59. Again, a three-point lead. For Dickinson State at the 5-10 mark, remaining to play in the ball game. Stinson with it, hand back, gets it off to Stevens. Now back to Stinson, out front it comes to Wiggins. Wiggins steps back, they get it off to Egbule, and he'll put up the three-pointer in Maria. Jose Egbule with his first three-pointer. He has eight in the ball game. Hawks five of eight from the three-point line in 
this second half. They were 7 of 11 in the first half. They are shooting about as well as you can shoot from beyond the three-point line. 65-59, three-pointer put up. Not good that time by Miller on the right wing. Rebound down to Dickinson State. Derek Selvig up and says, let's settle it. Let's get a good run here offensively, a good possession with that lead. But six, Egg Egbule inside, nothing doing. He'll dribble it back out front. Come back to Stevens. Stevens looks for the screen, gets it. Trey pulls up from 15. That's good. Trey Stevens, his first shot of the second half. He has seven, 67 to 59. The Blue Hawks scoot out by eight points again. We've kind of just gone from about three to eight this entire second half, although Waldorf did get it down to one point at 43 to 42. Inside Grayson against Stinson, a tough shot blocked away by Stinson and controlled by Waldorf. Good job that time by Stinson defensively. Washington comes, Aguilé with good defense, and it's gonna be controlled as the shot is missed. Here comes Dickinson State, right! Somehow got it to go, falling down. Timeout, Dickinson State. So let's see who got it first. Both coaches call timeout. Wright rammed into the wall. I don't know how he got that one to go down, but he did. He's got 12 on the night. Lead back to 10, 69 to 59. With three and a half minutes left to go, let's take a 30-second timeout on KDIX Dickinson. Dickinson is the best place to get together with your friends and enjoy a nice cold beverage any time of the day. They have weekly lunch specials from 11 to 1.30 and beer and wings Thursdays from 5 to 9. The Eagles is also available for your special event. Call now to reserve your date. You'll find everything the Eagles is planning on their Facebook page and you can check out their monthly calendar to see all the entertainment and events going on. Whether you're looking for something different for lunch or something fun to do with your friends, try the Eagles in downtown Dickinson. Thank you much. Good point made by Tristan during that bake. Talk about that, Tristan. What happened after the Jaden Wright basket? Uh, after that Jaden Wright basket, Jaden Wright uh, fell down, and didn't get back up in time, didn't know if it was an ankle injury or not, and Coach Selvick saw that, saw that he didn't want his defense to be down a man on a four-on-five, and so he called that timeout, let Jaden Wright get up and collect himself. And Jaden will stay in the ball game. kind of whack that foot against the wall. Actually, that door where you come in, really an acrobatic shot made by Jaden, who has been solid tonight. First half, Jaden was three of six. He's four of eight from the floor tonight, two of three from beyond the arc, and two of two from the free throw line. He has 12 points. Good balance for the Blue Hawks tonight in the contest. Ten-point lead all of a sudden, 69 to 59. Wiggins out front with it, gets it left side. They go inside to edge of four. Edge of four against Palmer, stops, fires. In and out, not good, gets it back, puts it up. Not good again, but he'll go to the line to shoot too. That's a tough matchup, Edgefort, so big and so strong. You know, you kind of match up sometimes against big guys. You know, and I'm sure in the mat it's a little bit different, but he is just strong. I don't know, Raiden Palmer doing everything he could, just not strong enough to match up with him. I mean, whenever a guy's taller than you or stronger than you, the best thing to do is get your hips lower. That I know that's just a wrestling thing, get that leverage, but... And he tried a little bit of everything, but uh, the free throw is missed by Edge Floor. He'll get another. Holland checks in, and Palmer with his fourth will check out. Stays a 10-point ball game with 3.15 left to go, 69-59. Edge Floor ready again at the free throw line. This one is up, and that one spins in and out, and Jaden Wright comes down. Well, Waldorf hasn't missed many free throws, 10 of 12 prior to that, but... Uh, Really bad time, down by 10 to miss him as we hit the three-minute mark left in the ball game. Right side, Stevens picked up immediately by Grayson. Now back to Aguilé. Aguilé thought about the three, poked away, gets it back. Off to Stevens, open from three, fires and misses badly. And the rebound's going to be taken down and stolen away by Jaden Wright. And Jaden Wright will lay it up and in. And the lead is 12, 71-59 with 2.45 left to go. Wiggins. Looking for the three, gets cut off, comes inside, puts it up, and got it to go over. Holland, tough shot by Wiggins. 2.35 left to go, CHI, St. Alexia South scoreboard, Dickinson State 71, and Waldorf 61 will be back in one minute.
Challenges and struggles are part of everyday life for all of us. At Infinity Real Estate Group, we don't back down and we take it all in stride. In these struggles, there are no mistakes, only life lessons. We may not be that good at some things, but we do excel in real estate. We are Infinity Real Estate Group. Experience the Infinity way. You know, Dickinson State lost to Waldorf by 10 two weeks ago. Waldorf in that game was 12 of 20 from beyond the arc. Dickinson State leads by 10 in this one, 71-61. They're 12 of 20 from three-point line. So sometimes stats kind of tell the story in all sports and basketball. I guess you can include it on the match. You can include it in the football field, but kind of an interesting stat line right there. Hawks have been red hot from beyond the arc. Stinson with it. Jake Daniel back in the ball game. Gives Dayton Wright a well-deserved breather. Wright's had a big night for Dickinson State. Had a big night at Valley City a couple of weeks ago. They go inside. Stinson goes to Holland. Holland thinking about putting it on the floor. Does. Backs his way in. He turns from 12. Puts it up. Can't get it to go on that little semi left-handed hook shot. And the rebound comes down to Waldorf. Out front with it. Grayson in the paint. Steps through, puts it up off the glass, airballs it with one hand. Grayson's had a tough night tonight. Average is 12 and a half, just one of five in the second half, 0 of two in the first half, one of seven in the ball game. Jake Daniel gets it to Aguilay, down to a minute 45, now to Stevens, and there's a whistle, and Stevens will go to the free throw line. Pray tonight. Hawks leading score at 15 points per ball game, has had just seven tonight, but hasn't shot the ball a lot. First half, two of four. Second half, one of two. So just three, six shots attempted. Miller in, checking out of the ball game will be Harkema. And at the free throw line will be Trey Stevens. Good free throw shooter. He'll shoot the one and one. Blue Hawk, seven of nine at the line. This one is up and good. Make it eight of ten. 80%. Hawks have Holland, Stinson. Egboule all back. Daniel top of the key. And then at the free throw line, Stevens. Nobody in the lane area. And Trey hits both free throws. He has nine points. Good balance tonight for the Hawks in this ballgame. So Trey Stevens with both free throws. Out front with the basketball. Miller gets it off on the left-hand side. 73-61. Outside, Wiggins, dribble drive, pulls up from three. That's short. Rebound tipped around to Daniel. And Jake Daniel will come out of there with it. So Jake will push it down court to Stevens. Stevens gets it, gets some timeout. And now we got a timeout, Dickinson State. Wright and Fischel will check into the ball game. Stevens and uh, Daniel will check out. We got a full timeout with a minute 12 left to go. Blue Hawks have a handle on it, trying to get above 500 in the conference. Trying to get closer to first place and trying to get a win at Scott Jim. We'll be back to tell you about it in 30 seconds on KDIS. World-renowned YouTube chef Lamise O brings her authentic Caribbean cuisine to the Dickinson area. Island Cuisine is open in the St. Joe's Plaza with available takeout and dine-in options. You'll find their entire menu on Facebook or call 483-9918 to place a pickup order. Enjoy incredible dishes like brown stew chicken or everyone's favorite, Rasta Pasta. Call now to order or stop in. Island Cuisine, located in St. Joe's Plaza, Dickinson. from them on KDIX and doing a great job again tonight. Always fun to work with Trace and the entire crew up there. And we're getting ready to go. Back to work here. 73-61, a minute 12 remaining to play on the CHI St. Alexia South scoreboard. Dickinson State in the lead by 12. Blue Hawks will get ready to put it into play. 
Inbound pass comes to Jaden Wright. Wright will push it across the timeline. Give it off to Jake Daniel. Back to Jaden Wright. Now back out front to Stevens. Stevens will hold on to it. Fitchell checked in. Now we get it back to Jaden Wright. Off to Jake Daniel. Jake is going to be grabbed and he'll go to the free throw line. Jake tonight in the ball game. Seven points. Mitchell out, right out. Aigule and Holland back in. And Jake Daniel, one and one coming for Jake. First trip to the line for Jake tonight in the contest. Free throw is up and good. He'll get another. Dickinson, six of eight in the second half. Ten of 12 in the ball game. And as we said, 12 of 20 from three-point line. That'll win you a lot of games. Out short one is short. Cox match their biggest lead of 13. 74-61 with 55 seconds left to go. Now we got to follow. Jake Daniel will pick it up. So it'll be a one and one with 52 seconds remaining. Wiggins will go to the line. So Wiggins will step up to the line off the bench tonight. Wiggins with nine. Wiggins averages seven and a half. So he's played above his average tonight. He'll shoot the bonus. Stevens out. And Holland out. Well, Stevens is going to stay in. Aguilé comes out. Little blood there. On the hand. Going to patch it up. There we go. Got the Band-Aid on. One and one coming. For Wiggins. Hawks led 35 27 at halftime. Waldorf got it down 43 42. As we said, they have never led. Free throw Wiggins is good. Blue Hawks on the verge of going 5 and 4, 14 and 10. This one is up, and that one is good. So Wiggins hits both free throws. He's got 9 in the second half, 11 in the ball game. Inbound pass comes in. <laughs> that Band-Aid comes off. Here comes Stevens across the timeline. 47 seconds. He'll be followed. <laughs> and he'll go to the line to shoot the two-shot bonus. Trey tonight. Nine points. Two of two at the line. Waldorf wants a timeout. 74-63. Dickinson State by 11. We'll just keep it right here. Of course, the Blue Hawks back here tomorrow against Viterbo. Three o'clock women, five o'clock men, but both getting what they wanted and needed tonight here at home wins. As we said, Dickinson State uh, will move to five and four, and again, three teams of three losses and six and three above them in the standing, so they're right in the mix. Mayville at six and three. Our two teams now, Bellevue at six and three. Dickinson State will move in the solo second at five and four. Waldorf and Dakota State behind them now. Dakota State five and five, and Waldorf at four and five. It's going to be an interesting stretch run for Dickinson State. Potential is to be number one. Potential is to be well. They can't finish seventh, but they could probably drop as low as six. So every game really important. Stevens at the free throw line. Trey will shoot the two-shot bonus. Readies himself. Free throw is up and good. Averages 15. He's got six in the second half now. Or five in the second half. Ten in the ball game. So Stevens again readies himself. This one on the way is good again. Dickinson State outstanding night at the line for the Blue Hawks. 76-63. Third time they've led by... 13 comes at a good time with 40 seconds left. Grayson from the corner hits the three-pointer. Grayson wide open. They just let him go and take the shot. Grayson now with seven. Wide open. Aigule. They don't need the basket, so they'll just pull it out. And they're going to follow him. Aigule <laughs> goes, hey, I got a layup. I got to take it. And instead, they'll go to the free throw line. Stevens will go back. <laughs> and he will shoot. I think Kose wanted that shot, don't you, Tristan? He wanted to dunk it. <laughs> Stevens will shoot the first of two, and he'll hit it. Trey 
Ouch, him and Vaden Wright really shoot free throws well. Five of five now, 12 in the ball game. He'll try to make a 13. Just two off the season average, and he does. 78-66, Blue Hawks by a dozen. 25 seconds left to go. Washington on the drive will lay it up, spin it in and out, not good. Rebound to Stevens. And I think the Hawks will be able to run the clock out here, and they should. And that's going to be your final score tonight on the CHI. Competitive ball game, hard and well played by both teams. But Dickinson State just a little bit more on the home court tonight. Outscoring Waldorf in the second half, 43 to 39. And they'll win it by a dozen. 66 78. The Blue Hawks 14 and 10 and 5 and 4. Waldorf 4 and 5. And they drop overall on the season, does Waldorf, to a record of 9 and 14. That's the final. 78 66. We'll come back with our post game show for you on KDIX. And we'll be back in just about two and a half minutes on KDIX. Or make it about three minutes on KDIX Dickens. Favorite thing about my street? My co-op. It isn't just about electricity. It's about power. The power of information. About safety. Efficiency. Technology. I am the co-op. I am the co-op. And the co-op is me. The Hub in North Dickinson is more than your ordinary convenience store. From Godfather's Pizza and the Hub Cafe to gourmet coffee, tea, and more. Stop by early for breakfast or grab something to go. We carry a variety of donuts that we make fresh every day. If your vehicle is dirty, we now have a state-of-the-art car wash at both locations. Stop in and see what we have to offer at the Hub located on North Highway 22 or the Hub West Dakota Oil on East Fillard in Dickinson. We're changing the way people think about the convenience store industry. Clogged or slow moving drains are no match for Josh and his licensed techs at Unplugged Drain Cleaning of Dickinson. They provide 24 hour service to solve all your sewer problems. Using only the best equipment along with the latest drain camera technology to resolve issues while maintaining the integrity of your pipes. They take pride in thoroughly explaining your options, providing free estimates and great service, and making sure your issues are resolved permanently. Contact Unplugged Drain Cleaning at 701 290 9737 or online at unplugdrains.com. Western Cooperative Credit Union is your local loan headquarters. Thinking about a new car or truck, ATV, boat, or RV? We'll make the process quick and easy. Call us today. Western Cooperative Credit Union. 85 years the Western way. Western Cooperative Credit Union is dedicated to offering you the best financial services around. We're local, we're personal, and we're great at what we do for you. Join the herd. Western Cooperative Credit Union. 85 years the Western way. West Dakota Oil and Fitterer Oil Company proudly offers products and services that help fuel our customers' lives with clean burning propane and bulk fuel and convenient on-site delivery with premium farm and road fuels. We provide energy where and when you need it most with locations throughout Southwest North Dakota. West Dakota Oil and Fitterer Oil Company, locally owned, locally strong, the products you need with the service you deserve. Bravera's more than a bank. We're a group of people in the business of helping communities forge on. At the counter, we offer convenience so the day can forge on. In the thick of the hall, we protect your peace of mind so the season can forge on. And around the table, we make room for everyone so life can forge on. We're more than a bank. We're your path ahead. Bravera, forge your path. All right, your final score again. Dickinson State wins it, 78-66. Led 35-27 at halftime. Led by 13 points. Uh, a total of uh, one time in the first half, two times in the second half. The last one being 76-63. And they win it 78-66. Tristan, before we uh, look at the numbers, just some uh, final thoughts. You only got to see the second half. Basically, no, you got to see most of the game. No, second half. Yeah, most of the second half. Most of the second half. Yeah. And claps on how the Blue Hawks played in the second half. They were pretty much the same in the first half and second half, but what did you think they did pretty well? 
you know, I thought they did amazing on defense, uh, really on defense, who I want to highlight, who just, I was blown away by his effort and his work ethic tonight, Jake Daniels. I mean, he was all over the place. He was hustling, whether he was offensive rebounding or really on defense. He was just in the face of every defender. And uh, I couldn't remember the name of uh, the other guy uh, on the opposing team, but number 33, I believe it was, they're really tall to, uh Really tall guy. Okay. Jake did it. Edge of four now. Edge of four and Woods, Jake yeah. Just matched up really well against him and showed a lot of fight. All right, good enough. Well, let's take a look at the final numbers here in this one tonight. Dickinson State again wins it, uh, 78 to 66. Great balance for the Blue Hawks. Uh, they were led tonight in the ball game uh, by Jaden Wright, the Dickinson High product, five of nine from the floor, uh, two of three from beyond the arc, and Jaden two of two from the line. He had 14, 13 points for Aiden Fitchell. Both Wright and Fitchell came off the bench tonight and played well. They had 27 points combined, 8 and 4 of 6 from the floor, 2 of 3 from beyond the arc, 3 of 3 from the free throw line. And Trey Stevens in double figures, he had 11 points on 3 of 6 from the floor, 4 of 4 from the free throw line, and he had one three-pointer. Then lining up right behind them, a trio of players with 8 points. Cordell Stinson did not play in the first half. All 8 of his points in the second half. Jake Daniel had 8 points. Kose Egule had eight points. D.C. Stewart, six points in the ball game, And uh, Josiah Holland again, eight points. So, again, eight points for Stinson, Holland, and Daniel, and Egule, six for Stewart, who was solid in the first half of the ball game, And uh, Braden Palmer had a basket uh, for two points. So an outstanding balanced offensive attack for Dickinson State. Uh, for Waldorf, they were led in scoring by Kyle Washington, Kylie Washington, in the uh, ball game, 5 of 14 from the floor. He had a total of 13 points, one three-pointer and two free throws. 12 points in the ball game uh, for Hugo Edgefor. Edgefor, 4 of 8 from the floor and 4 of 7 from the line. Off the bench, Justin Wiggins had 11, 4 of 9 from the floor, a couple of free throws and a three-pointer. 8 points for Noah Miller, 6 points for Hakama, 7 in the ball game for Grayson off the bench. Woods had 4 points. And uh, Gabe Sorensen, five points, all of his points in the first half. Again, the shooting numbers, Dickinson State shot outstanding uh, in the uh, ball game in the first half. Uh, pretty well for the game, 26 of 56, 46%. 12 of 20, that's outstanding, 60% from beyond the arc, 82% from the free throw line, 14 of 17. Waldorf, 12 of 16, 75% uh, from the free throw line, 6 of 18, 33% from three-point range, 24 of 58, 42% overall for Waldorf from the floor. The rebounding edge, well, it was even. You don't see that very often. Both teams had 36 rebounds. Edge of four had 14 to lead Waldorf. Egbule, again, 10 points to lead Dickinson State, or 10 rebounds, excuse me, to lead Dickinson State in the ball game tonight. The turnovers, cleanly played ball game. Uh, turnovers tonight for Waldorf, 13. Dickinson State had just nine. And again, the difference, that three-point shooting and free-throw shooting for Dickinson State carries them to a second-place uh, effort now in the North Star, just a game behind Mayville State and Bellevue at uh, five and four. Those two teams at six and three. And again, tonight, uh, Dickinson State wins it 78-66. to 66. The women again, 60-44. to 44. Any final thoughts, Tristan, before we let you... Uh, you're a college student. I know it's a Friday night, so we're going to get you out of here. Uh, it's just a great game played by Dickinson State and, and also a great effort played uh, by Waldorf. They never showed any quit and just resulted in some great entertainment and some great basketball. Yeah, it was an entertaining game. Chris, well, thanks for stopping by and helping out. Of course. For a second thanks hour. for having me, Rod. Appreciate it. All right. Let's take one more break from ND Pharmacy. Then we'll come back with our ND Pharmacy player of the game, and we'll do it for you in 30 seconds on KDIX. Computer viruses are bad, and I'm as bad as they come. <laughs> I love breaking stuff. Once I'm inside your system, that's when the real damage begins. And there's almost nothing you can do to stop me. Oh no, consolidated. Make sure you're protected with a cybersecurity solution from Consolidated. Don't wait until it's too late. Call Consolidated today. Dickinson State. Jaden's kind of been in a starting role this season, kind of off the bench, but tonight 
Ah, 28 minutes. He played 28 minutes. Uh, Josiah Holland had 28 minutes. Jake Daniel had 28 minutes tonight. And Kose Agabule had just about 27 minutes. So those guys are on the floor a lot tonight. And Jaden Wright, 5 of 9 from the floor, 2 of 3 from beyond the arc, 2 of 2 from the free throw line. Led the Hawks 14 points, had 2 assists, had a couple of rebounds, 1 steal, and did not have a turnover in 28 minutes of play. That's a good night, and Jaden Wright, the former Dickinson High midget, earns our ND Pharmacy Player of the Game honor tonight. Well, I don't see Coach Selvig coming up, and I don't see any players coming up, so I think we're just going to wrap it up here tonight at uh, Scott Gym. And again, a good night for the Blue Hawk men and women. The men win it again by a final of 78-66. to 66. And the women over Waldorf, 60 to 44. J.D. and myself will be back here tomorrow afternoon at 3, the women, 5, the men. Tristan Stir will be engineering back at the studio. Thanks again, Tristan, for the help tonight. And that's going to do it. From Scott Jim, for our great sponsors, for Trace Wells and that super crew at Consolidated. Thank you again tonight, guys. We'll be with them again tomorrow on Channel 18 Live on KDIX and Consolidated Live Channel 18. So their sponsors, our sponsors, J.D. and Trace and the crew. Tristan Stir added in. Have a great night and a safe trip home. And so long, everyone, from Scott Jim.